In this tutorial, we will create a Crew AI project using the new Crew AI CLI tool. Then we will extend the functionality of Crew AI and add our own custom tool to connect Crew AI to the Binance crypto market. This custom tool can give our AI agents the ticker of our highest current position in our wallet. With this information, our crew can search the internet for more information regarding the ticker. Finally, a report in markdown format will be created in our Obsidian Vault containing the source of the news and some news about the highest position in our wallet. Please notice the information in this video has only educational purposes and is not in any kind of financial advice. If you are interested in AI and finance, you may want to check our channel and see more information in this regard. If you like the content, please subscribe to the channel and support it with your likes and comments. And if you have questions, you can join our new free community on school.com. So let's dive in to see how we can implement the crew and connect it to the crypto market. As we use the new approach to create Crew AI projects, we will need Poetry to set up the project. So make sure you have already installed Poetry on your system. If you need help setting Poetry, check other videos on this channel. The next step is to create a folder for this project and switch to the new folder and from inside the folder launch Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, we first create a virtual environment and activate the virtual environment. Make sure the name of the virtual environment appears before the prompt. The next step is to install Crew AI with tools. The installation takes some time and after all of the packages and dependencies are installed, the prompt comes back and we can clear the screen. Now that Crew AI is installed, we can use the Crew AI CLI tool and type Crew AI create and the name of our project, in this case crypto. This command creates the structure of our project based on the preferred blueprint and template for Crew AI projects. We reveal the folder in File Explorer and right click on the folder to open another Visual Studio Code window where the pyproject.toml file is in the root. As you can see, there is no virtual environment setup. With Poetry Shell, we create and activate a an virtual environment. The data is stored in app data on Windows and not in a .vn folder in our project. The name of the new virtual environment appears before the prompt. The next step is to add the packages needed for the project using Poetry Add. We can add load.env for our environment variables, pandas to test the API in Jupyter Notebook, and Python Binance to use the Binance API. Poetry will add the packages in the TAML file and install the dependencies based on the Python version and other packages in the project. The Poetry log file will be generated. We can now explore the structure of our Crew AI project. In the README file, there are some information about Poetry and how to set up and run the project. The Poetry log file lists all of the packages and dependencies for this project. The .git ignore prevents the .env file with our API keys to be published. For this project, we must add some mandatory keys and if we want to use Langsmith, we can add some optional keys to the .env file. If you like to track the project, you can navigate to your Langsmith dashboard. There you can create a project and copy the configuration and paste it in the .env file. As mentioned, using Langsmith is optional, but the rest of the keys are mandatory. We get a Serper key, an OpenAI key after we create a project, and a Binance API and secret key, and add all of them to the .env file. To have a list of the environment variables, it's a good practice to make a copy of the .env file and save it in a file like .env.sample. 
This file is not listed in the .git ignore and will be published to GitHub. So that when you clone the project, you just need to remove the .sample and add your keys in the .env file. Make sure you have a .env file in the root with your own keys for each of the services you use. The next files in the structure are main.py and crew.py. As soon as you open a Python file, you can select an interpreter for the project in Visual Studio Code. We select the recommended interpreter we created using Poetry. The next file in the structure is custom tool. Here we define our custom tool, which will be used in crew when we uncomment this line. We can uncomment the next tool which is provided to us by Crew AI too. To use our custom tool, we need to provide it to our agent. So we uncomment this line too. We would like to rename our tool to my crypto tool instead of my custom tool. So we use F2 to rename the function name. This will change not only the name of the function in the custom tool file, but also everywhere it is used, like in crew.py. For now, we create a fake placeholder function and give it a name, get position with highest value and a description. The return value of the function is a string and we return just a symbol ETH for Ethereum. From the agent and LLM point of view, the function is a black box with a name and description and returns a string. So we can test our function with that fake value and when everything else works fine, we can come back and implement the functionality. For more flexibility, we use keyword arguments. Any is not defined, so with control dot, we import any from typing. The next files in the project structure are agents and tasks YAML files. We adjust the agents file with our configuration. Here we have the configuration for our portfolio manager. We define the role and goal and give some backstory for this agent. In our case, the role is the senior portfolio manager and the goal is to manage the portfolio. The backstory is a description of what the agents can do. Here we give some information about the transaction and positions of our portfolio. The next agent is the reporting analyst. The configuration is slightly changed to crypto reporting analyst and the goal is to create reports about a symbol. And we insist that we want to have the report in markdown and prefer markdown tables. This is useful to show it nicely in our Obsidian Note app. Next, we adjust the configuration of our tasks. The first task is to find the ticker symbol of the asset with the highest value. We insist that this information is private and is not online or in the training set. So the agent should use the provided tool. The expected output shall be formatted in JSON and will be a symbol or no transaction. For the reporting task, we want a report about the ticker and we expect a report to be in markdown format. Now it's time to adjust our crew. We replace it with our code. First, we import the needed packages. Then we import our custom tool and the server dev tool provided by Crew AI. We get the current time and create a suffix string based of the current time to give our report file name a unique name. As you can see, Crew AI adds a crew to the name of our project. So our project was crypto and Crew AI created the crypto crew class. So when you choose a name for your project, keep this in mind. First, the agent and task configurations are loaded. For this project, the initialization is not necessary as we use OpenAI and we have already defined the model in our environment variable OpenAI model name in .env file. But it is wise to use a variable like custom LLM and assign it explicitly to each agent. In this way, you can easily change the crew to use grok for much faster inference 
or use Olama locally with Llama 3 for privacy. The only thing to change is the custom LLM. More on this subject in the coming videos. The first agent is the portfolio manager. It uses the configuration we put in the YAML file and our custom tool, My Crypto Tool. We set verbos to true to see some locks and we set allow delegation to false so that it uses our custom tool to get the information. And as mentioned, we assign the custom LLM for the LLM. The next agent is the reporting analyst agent. It uses the configuration we adjusted in the YAML file and uses the Serper dev tool to search the internet. Again, we want to see some logs and do not want to delegate the task to other agents and use our custom LLM. You can use different LLMs for different agents, but in this project, we use the same LLM for both of our agents. In the task part, we have two tasks. First, get highest position in portfolio task, which the configuration is in the YAML file. In Crew AI, we can assign tasks to agents. So we assign this task to the portfolio manager agent. We put human input to true so that we can give some feedbacks and control the flow. The next task is the reporting task. The configuration is in the reporting task configuration in the YAML file and we assign this task to the reporting analyst agent. We want the output to be written directly in our obsidian vault. Here we use the suffix date time to give our report a unique name. Otherwise, it will be overwritten each time we run the crew. Next, we define our crew. As we use the task and agent decorator, the agents and task list will be automatically created. The process is sequential and we put verbose to two to see more logs. Finally, we simplify our main file as we do not need to give our crew some input information. Now it's time to run our crew and generate a report. So we open the terminal. Although it's not needed in our case, but just to be 100% sure, we once again use Poetry Lock and Poetry Install as mentioned in the README file to bring everything up to date. After the installation is done, the name of the project appears, which we'll use in our run command. We type Poetry Run Crypto. As you can see, the Senior Portfolio Manager starts working on the first task and it uses our custom tool, which here is a fake tool and every time delivers ETH. We give our OK and the crypto reporting analyst start working with our second task to generate a report. After some search on the internet, a report is generated. When we open the report, we see a report regarding Ethereum and an overview and a markdown table with a source link of the news and the news. So when our highest position in our wallet is Ethereum, we can click on the links and do some more research about it and check the news to follow the development. This part of the tutorial is now successfully finished. Now it's time to replace our fake function and connect to the crypto market Binance.com. To check the API and functionality, we use a Jupyter Notebook. The advantage of Jupyter Notebook is that it is like a cell-by-cell -cell debugger and you can check every step. First, we need to define a kernel. We use the recommended kernel created by Poetry for this project. To start, we import the needed packages and load our Binance API and secret key we stored in .env file. Then we connect to the backend using Binance client. When connected, we get the information of the account. Here we see some information about the account and the balances as a list. We are interested in the balances, so we create a pandas data frame from the account balances. It has the asset and the free and locked column. If the sum of the free and locked column for an asset is more than zero, then we have a value for the asset. A quick check shows that we have one asset. 
We can list our assets where the sum of the free and locked value is more than zero and we see we have some bitcoins on this account. To determine the value of our position, we first get the current price of all of the symbols and pairs. After we got the current prices, we can get the estimated value of our position, which is around $70. If we had more than one position, we could define the highest position so that our function only returns one symbol. As we have here only Bitcoin at the moment, the function will return BTC. Now that the functionality is tested and the Binance Python API works, we can implement the functionality in our custom tool. The only addition to the code is the Binance API exception and the use of some error handling, so that if we have some problems connecting to the Binance backend, the function returns no transaction. Now it's time to run the crew, but this time with the real custom tool functionality. As you can see this time, BTC is returned by the custom tool, and we know it's correct and give our feedback so that the reporting analyst agent can generate a report for Bitcoin. It seems a markdown table is generated and we switch to Obsidian and indeed a second report is generated but only with some links to some Bitcoin news. We could try to change our feedback in human input but this makes the things worse. We just run it again and simply give our OK as feedback and this time we get a report with the news and the links but no overview like Ethereum. If we compare the reports we see it's not consistent. That means we must improve our configuration and prompts. For those who have Langsmith they can dig deeper and see the steps in more detail. But this is optional. You can provide more details to your reporting agents and get more unified reports. But this is the subject of another video. We will do more videos regarding Crew AI and will use other LLMs like Grok or Llama 3 with Olama and will use other trading platforms like BitGet or Interactive Brokers. So if you like the content regarding AI agents and finance, subscribe to the channel and support it with your likes and comments. And if you are really serious about subjects like business and automation and AI agents, you can join our free community on school. This community just started. You can get in touch and ask your questions and get an answer from me or any other like-minded member. If you are interested, the link is in the description. Good luck.